Hey everyone, it's Adam here to tell you about Remote Web View, a new feature in MixEffect 1.1 that was released today. What is it? Better that I show you. Let's take a look at my iPad. Here's my iPad looking at the Squisher interface and I'm gonna hit Command Shift K. Let's take a look what happens. What did I just do? Multi-view running on my iPad from the A10 Mini Extreme. And show you this is really the multi-view. I'm gonna to go to auxiliary here and make sure I'm on aux 2. And I'm gonna just change what source is being used. Preview, iPad, color one, color two, bars, my Mac, and back to multi-view. So imagine the possibilities now that you have multi-view running in mix effect while you're doing your switching. You can be in the switcher and you can just pull this up to the side and you can hit auto and see your switcher auto transition and actually see it in real time. So if you're using the iPad uh, remotely away from your desk, you can monitor what's happening on your switcher. Boom. Multi-view on your iPad with mix effect. This also works on your phone. So if you have an iPhone, you can take advantage of remote web view. So let's take a closer look at how exactly this is working. I'm gonna close this for right now. And in the auxiliary section of mix effect, there's a new button up in the upper right corner and that's the remote web view button. Let's bring it up. So as you can see here, it has a URL. Basically what remote web view does is it displays the contents of a web page. Any web page that's accessible via HTTPS. So not HTTP, but HTTPS. In this case, I'm accessing a video.ninja URL. Now video.ninja, for those of you who don't know, is a video streaming service that uses a peer-to-peer -peer connection between the computer or device that's streaming the video and a computer or device that's receiving the video. So in this case, I am outputting the auxiliary two output, the HDMI two output from the ATEM Mini Extreme into a Mac Mini. And I'm gonna show you what that looks like right now. Bring this up, taking a little while. So I'm using this. The ATEM Mini Extreme is HDMI out two, goes into a very inexpensive USB capture card, which then goes into my Mac Mini. And on the Mac Mini, I am running Video Ninja, and let's bring that up here again. What it's doing on the Mac is, I just say, add my camera to OBS. I choose the video source. In this case, we're using the USB video. The audio source, we can also set that to the USB digital audio. Now, Video Ninja, uh, you can assign an optional password. I highly recommend this because if anyone has your Video Ninja link, they can access the video stream if you're outputting it. So this is just a test. So I'm just say testing one, two, three, and I'm gonna click start. And as you can see, it's outputting my multi-view right here, okay? And if I go on to my iPad, and let's go switch to this view so you can see it, everything happening in real time. If I go to auxiliary, so I want you to look in the upper right corner. If I change this to preview, you'll see that it changes the preview. So video.ninja is sending out the output from the HDMI 2 port. So let's go back to the Mac mini. I think it's this one, let's see this one, here we go. And as you can see in the upper, uh, the top of the page, there's a link and it says copy this URL into an OBS um, browser source. We don't need to do that. We'll just copy into mix effect. So we'll copy that link here. It says copy to clipboard. And then what I'll do back in mix effect land, we'll go back to there. It's gonna go back to the remote web view. I'm just gonna enter that URL. There we go. And I'm gonna say connect. And there's the multi view that we're outputting from my Mac mini, from my ATEM mini extreme ISO on the iPad. And I click done and it will bring up the window here. I can tap this again and I can again move it around. I can also minimize it if I just wanna kind of keep it out of the way while I'm doing other things in the switcher. And I can always bring it back by tapping maximize. And again, I can resize it by grabbing, oops, 
push the super source button accidentally. Let's go back to this. I can always, uh, you know, minimize it like this with a pinch motion or an expand motion, make it bigger. And there you go. Now, there's a couple ways to get your output from your ATEM Mini Extreme into your Mac and video.ninja. So let's go quickly run over some of the other options. I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna bring up some graphics here, running a shortcut that I developed. Let's see. So we already took a look at the USB capture card. So again, ATEM Mini Extreme, HDMI out to the USB capture card into the Mac Mini running Video Ninja. There's also, if you have a, an NDI encoder, like a Bird Dog Mini, you can do it in this fashion. HDMI out into the Bird Dog Mini, which is set to encode. And then on the Mac, it's not connected because it's all going over the network. You're running two applications, NDI Siphon and Siphon Virtual Webcam. So NDI Siphon picks up the NDI signal and turns it into Siphon Protocol, which is a protocol that runs on the Mac. Um, and then Siphon Virtual Webcam takes that Siphon feed and turns it into a virtual input that video.ninja can receive. So the other option is if you have a Blackmagic uh, mini recorder, so this was the old mini recorder that used to be able to grab input from HDMI feed and then output, output it using Thunderbolt. Uh, only runs on Intel Macs these days. But again, HDMI out into the mini recorder, into your Mac, and then you run a software program called Black Siphon, which converts Black Magic um, capture cards into Siphon Protocol. Then in Siphon Webcam, Virtual Webcam, into Video.Ninja. So you have something like a, a Decklink card as well. This will also work um, with these pieces of software. And finally, let's say you just upgraded from your ATEM Mini or ATEM Mini Pro or ATEM Mini Pro ISO to an ATEM Mini Extreme ISO, and the ATEM Mini is just lying there. You can use that as a webcam. You can take the output from the ATEM Mini Extreme. It goes into the ATEM Mini, say into input one, and then the USB-C port from the ATEM Mini into the Mac, and then you have a webcam. And then that input is used into video.ninja. Now, if all you have is an A10 Mini Pro or an A10 Mini Pro ISO, you can still use Remote Web View, but you might want to get an HDMI splitter that can take the output from the A10 Mini Pro and then split it into two parts. So one would go to your monitor and the other one would go to the USB capture card that would be plugged into your Mac or your PC. And then you can take that signal and input that into video.ninja. If you get stuck, there's a help link down below, which takes you to the remote web view documentation on mixeffect.app. And it shows you step-by-step -step exactly what you need to do. Uh, and it goes through the four ways you can get your ATEM output into video.ninja. Again, using the capture card, an ATEM mini, NDI, or using a Blackmagic device. And then at the bottom, there's a whole section on how to configure video.ninja. But once you've done that, you can just say connect, tap the play button to preview it, tap done. And you have multi-view running in mix effect on your iOS or iPad device. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you like what you've seen, please subscribe down below. I'm getting very close to a thousand subscribers and it'd be really helpful if you haven't subscribed to do so now. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time for the next video on Mix Effect. Bye bye.